Okay, I'll break it down. E minor is the first measure here. All right, and you want to alternate the index and the middle finger for the melody when you can. walk up there on G, C, A minor, B7, well actually a B uh, bar there, some thirds into E minor, just keep the E minor down, uh, the E and the G, get the bass note with the fourth finger. Roll your finger over and grab the, uh, the G sharp and the C. So, A minor, D7 sus to D7, G, little uh, melody there walking up with the bass line. A minor, D7 the F sharp in the bass, and then a C with the G in the bass, G, F sharp minor 7, B7, and then back to the top, but this time I hesitate on coming in with the melody. So I hit the bass note first. This is a technique you might want to apply to uh, some melodies. For some, it doesn't work, but this one, it does. You hear the difference there? Instead of going... I'm doing... Very popular uh, vocal technique. We go again. See, instead of go back into the regular chords, you can do it there too. Instead of repeated uh, it again but anyway let's go to the ending part all right so that last part you've got the G G and a G and then you got the sixth uh, D and B, and then E and C. And then keep the third finger on the bass note here on the G. To make it easy. Okay, so that's how you do that. And you keep the... Uh, G note, the fourth finger on the G note. You got G, C slash G, A minor 7 slash G, and then G. All right, so I hope that helped you. Uh, take care. Bye.